Welcome back to Westmoreland Sports Network for Recruiting Thursday, brought to you by Sendell Volkswagen in Greensburg. We would love to meet you. Jack Ride now are here with you, and I'm now joined by current Hemfield area track and field athlete and recent Notre Dame track and field commit, Peyton Murray. First off, Peyton, congrats on the recent commitment, and thanks so much for joining us. How does it feel to have this decision made and, and kind of get this weight lifted off your shoulders a little bit? It's definitely a relief. It was it was a hard it was a hard process, but I'm glad I'm here and I'm happy with my decision. Well, I know that Notre Dame was on your on the list and and very high up on the list for you. And I would love to hear just how does it feel that 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 has now officially become the place that you will be continuing your throwing career at, and that it's not so much a goal, but you've actually attained that goal. I mean, has this set in for you at all? It has not set in yet. It, it's definitely like a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I could not ask for a better school, and I'm very excited about it, but it has not set in yet. Well, how did you fall in love with Notre Dame from such a young age? I mean, where did that story begin? So I went and watched my brother at a meet. He attended the University of DePaul, and he had a meet at Notre Dame about seven years ago. So I went there, and I watched him throw, and I, I fell in love with the campus then, and I've always I've been a fan ever since. Was this kind of a full circle moment for you, would you say? I mean, going from when you were a kid, seeing the campus, and now, I mean, it, it'll soon be your home. Definitely. When Coach Erickson contacted me, I said, I told my dad, this would be crazy if I went here. This would be awesome. We have we pictures of me when I was a little kid there, and we retook the pictures this weekend. It was pretty cool. Yeah, that's definitely a, a very cool moment. And we'll obviously get into the impact your dad has had in your throwing career as well. But I want to hear a little bit about this recruiting process as a whole for you, because a lot of schools came calling, a lot of big time programs, Division One, Power Five programs came calling. So what was it like for you getting all of this attention from high profile schools? It was interesting and it was fun. I told my dad, I said, I, my goal is to go Power Five. I could have gone to a slightly smaller school. But I, I wanted to go Power 5 was my goal. So certain, certain coaches have been talking to me for almost a year now, but a lot of coaches just came in toward the end. And around late summer, I started getting contacted by more coaches and scheduled my visits, and I got here. What were some other schools that were in the mix and that you were you know maybe thinking about? So I took official visits to the University of Indiana, Penn State, Pitt, Iowa and Kentucky and I also got offered roster spots because they don't give scholarships at Ivy's to Harvard and UPenn. Well definitely a very uh, lengthy list of a lot of different places to pick from but I want to go back a little bit because you mentioned your brother and, and him pl and him being an athlete at DePaul. How much has he influenced your career in track and field and and what kind of advice have you kind of gotten from him as you enter or you're about to enter this journey into college? Yeah, so I definitely tried to follow in his footsteps as much as possible. I remember I was in fifth grade when he was a senior. So I I somewhat remember his meets, and I remember how he competed, and he's given me a lot of advice. Just some days he comes to practice, he'll tell me something new, and it just clicked. He's, he, he's helpful for sure. What was the advice he shared with you during this recruiting process? I mean, what kind of insight did he give you on how to handle – calls and, and recruiting visits and such? So I would say he told me to definitely look for something academically that suited me. He didn't want me to just go to a great athletic school. He told me to think of everything. He told me that it's not always just about throwing. You got to care about what you're going to do after throwing. And I obviously I don't want to think about that just yet, but there will be a day where I'm no longer throwing and I'm going to have to worry about where, where did I get the, my degree? What job am I going to get? So that's another thing that's great about Notre Dame is the academics. I'm going to get, hopefully going to get a great job out of there. So I'm excited about that. What do you plan on majoring at Notre Dame? So still kind of deciding, but definitely something involving business. Well, you have lots of time. No rush. Do not. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people always say that you got to figure it out right when you walk in. There's a reason why college is four years. You've got some time to figure it out. But I want to no now talk about another family member of yours that's had a big impact in your career, your dad, who's also the track and field coach for you at Hemfield. What's that like for you? I mean, you get to see your dad in one setting at home, and then you get to see him in the midst of battle as a coach. What has that kind of been like for you as an athlete and also being his son? 
It, it's great. I couldn't ask for a better coach. He's he he's definitely the best coach in Pennsylvania, a throws coach, maybe the country, definitely top five of the country. He's had a tremendous amount of state champions. And it's great to always be thinking about throwing. We try to tone it down a little bit, but we have a throw circle in our backyard. So whenever I want to throw, hey, Dad, can you come watch me throw in the yard? It's always easy. He's always available. It's awesome. I'm glad you, you mentioned the aspect of how you guys can kind of maybe – turn it off when you get home and you're able to kind of leave that at, at whatever happened at the track. You just leave it there. Do you ever find that it is hard though? Maybe if there was a tough practice or maybe a meet that didn't go your way, that it's hard for you guys to maybe unplug from that since you're around it so much. Yeah, I would say that if there's a bad meet or a bad practice, sometimes if it's winter, we'll go in my garage and we'll do some technique. We'll do some technique and be like, what, what can we do to fix and if it's springtime and it's nice outside, hey, let's go outside and maybe do some tech outside. Just try to fix some things I did wrong with the meet. So we're always always trying to fix things. Well, I know you mentioned he's coached a lot of state champions, and you are now on that list too. I mean, you were a state champion last year as well as the WPIAL championship or champion. What did that mean to you to win that both of those titles? But not only that, do it with your dad right there watching and cheering you on along the way. It meant so much to both of us. I know he's he's very happy that one of his one of his state champions is his kid. I, that that that's a goal for him, and he's very happy about it. I'm very happy about it. I get to have my picture um, in our hallway of our high school. I I, I get to be a part of a, this great legacy, and I, I'm always gonna I'm always gonna be a part of it. I'm, I'm super excited to be a part of it. You know. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned the legacy of Hemfield area track and field. I mean, it spans back many many years. What was it like once you won that state championship? I mean, talk a little bit about just the moments after with your dad and, and just what that was like and that emotion that you guys got to share. Yeah, it was definitely emotional. I gave him a big hug. I thanked him. Of course, he's been everything to me. And I, I, I it was just, I kind of, I, I expected it. So it was kind of like, okay, you finally did it. Like, don't get yourself up too high. You still have more to go, but you did it. Good job. Well, you do have more to go. You have a chance to potentially defend or, you know, protect that championship this upcoming year. How do you plan on attacking the season with kind of a target on the back of your head? Well, I'll say that there's a little less, a little less stress on me now that I'm committed. I'm going to be working harder than ever. No days off. No more days off. I had a lot of recruiting visits where I couldn't lift on the weekends. That's no longer, no longer here. I'm going to be lifting every day of the week, throwing every day of the week. I'm ready to I'm ready to work harder than ever and I'm ready to hopefully break a state state record. What is kind of on the agenda for you once winter time kicks in and, and obviously you get, you know, into the mix of things and then before you know it, it's outdoor season. I mean, what is that that pre kind of training for the springtime look like for you? Well, I have at our, at our school we have indoor track, so a lot of fixing up my shot put and then a couple of days a week, we'll throw discus. When we can, we'll go outside. If not, we'll just throw into a curtain we have. I'm also going to be learning the weight throw this winter. So just a lot of preparing for outdoor and a lot of getting ready for indoor shot put season. Well, Peyton, I know that you've accomplished, accomplished quite a bit during your time at Hemfield area, but I know that your time as a Spartan's winding down. And before we let you go, I want to hear from you as you embark on your next journey into college and you head off to Notre Dame, what are you most looking forward to when you go off, compete for the Fighting Irish? It doesn't have to be track and field related. It can be anything about college life. But what are you most looking forward to when you do enter into that journey? I'm looking forward to being able to compete against the best of the best that I ever meet. Uh, in high school, at the high school level right now, there's only a few meets. I mean, they're, they're, they're definitely good throwers in high school, but there's only a few meets later in the year towards states and Whippeal time where I'm really – getting pushed i'm ready to be pushed every meet I'm ready to be pushed by my teammates i am now but you know d1 level teammates i'm ready i'm ready to be in that environment well you definitely have a great mindset for it and now you've got the college commitment out the way you can focus on capturing another state title peyton thanks so much for joining us on recruiting thursday and good luck this upcoming season thank you thanks thanks for having me that's Notre Dame track and field commit Peyton Murray, as always. Thanks for joining us for another Recruiting Thursday brought to you by Sendo Volkswagen in Greensburg. We would love to meet you.
Make sure you check out our other Recruiting Thursdays that are out now on our YouTube channel. And as always, this is Jack Ridenauer signing off, never saying a goodbye, just to see you later, right here and only on the Westmoreland Sports Network.